Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Kenshi. This would be episode 8. So uh, without further ado, let's start. Now at the end of last episode, we were basically, as a group, unconscious and bleeding out in the desert. And while that sounds like it's a bad thing, it's actually it wasn't actually that bad. We were in a reasonable place, I believe. Um... Wait a second. Maybe we weren't. Alright, so Foot is past its KO point. So he's going to be in a recovery coma. Uh, so is Hand. And Beep. And Ruka. Oh, crap. Alright, so we are all past our KO point. Which means that uh, we're going to be doing some waiting. We need at least three people to wake up. Which appears it's going to be probably Crumble John followed by Ruka and Beep. Yeah, hand and foot are both down for the count. But thankfully, they are not just completely bleeding out. You know, they're in good shape. Okay, they're not in good shape, but they're not in terrible shape. So they're not actively dying. Um, they are simply hurt. But anyway, as soon as Ruka, Beep, and Crumble John get up, then we should be able to, you know, go do things. Shouldn't take too long. At the same time, we did acquire some loot from the High Paladin, so th that's good stuff. And uh, it looks like, oh, we might have some Paladins to loot and some Holy Servants to loot. Yeah, this guy's going to get back up, but this guy is not. This guy is dead. His chest got destroyed. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the reason he's dead. <laughs> um, no, this Holy Servant's going to get back up. Yeah, thankfully we don't have any Iron Spiders attacking us. Iron Spiders, their attacks have a tendency to cause a lot of bleeding damage, so um, they, they've got their little shredders and... So if you if the iron spider knocks you unconscious, chances are you're not you're gonna bleed out before you die. Um, thankfully, we're not in that boat right now. I'm gonna have Crumble John sneak because I think I see some pallet. Well, that's a Holy Nation doctor. Really, I didn't know Holy Nation had doctors. That's actually kind of surprising. Um, I will admit. And their Holy Nation doctor is carrying somebody off. Or carrying the spider off. Anyway, I'm going to have Foot here give Crumble John some medical supplies. So that Crumble John can medic the rest of our people. Since all of our other people could use at least some medical attention of some sort. Alright, next we're going to work on what we actually want to do in the desert. Now, I'm not entirely certain what specifically I want to do, but I'm thinking, well, it's probably a good idea to, um, what's the word, go find a base of operations. Now, I, my ideal base of operations there's going to be a there's a way station down here somewhere which should have a building for sale that would be my ideal base of operations however i'm not sure if that's actually going to work out we may have to simply buy a building in town we've got nothing that guy is dying that guy wait they carried off the dead guy? Dang. I was hoping to loot the dead guy. Well, I'm going to grab that for now. These are all shoddy. Don't really need any of that. Um, you know what? Just for shits, I'm going to have him... Wait. Oh, I no first aid. All right. Looks like he's already got his first aid. I was going to say, uh, I was going to do some first aid with, um, Crumble John just for practice, but 
I guess that's not really a thing that we gotta worry about. I guess we just worry about Veep getting up. I'm gonna have Ruka and Crumble John jog around in the meantime. Worst case, it's athletics experience. Well, no, worst case, bad things happen, but you know, reasonable case, athletics experience. Doesn't seem to be any particularly dangerous stuff going on here. So, uh, let's just head back towards everybody. Yeah, we... Oh, crap. We've got Black Desert Ninjas here. Alright, so actually, these guys are someone that I want to loot. Every single Black Desert Ninja, or Cloud Ninja... Black Desert Ninjas. Every single one of these guys that I take out is going to give me at least about a thousand gold cats worth of loot. Um, which is not a bad thing. And we are fairly well hidden, and it looks like I might be able to watch them get into a fight with some Holy Nation folk and then loot the results, which would be quite nice, actually. I would love to loot the results of a Black Dragon Ninja and a Holy Nation fight. I mean, they got two ninja swords apiece. Um, Alright, run speed-wise, they should both be fine, more or less. This is going to be a very iffy uh, combat if I do actually go in there. Let's see here. We've got an unconscious doctor. Oh, hand got up. Ho ho! Great medical supplies. Nice little... Oh, dude, this is... That was a great loot. Great bit of loot right there. Uh, Crumble John, you stay back. Ruka, yeah, run back. Let's see here. Um, hello, unconscious Black Desert Ninja. Have Crumble John run in and loot you, as well as the other doctor. Alright, so they got two blades, standard grade ninja rags, and ninja mask. Oh man, this is good stuff. Um, I wish I had more, more space to loot. Wow. Jeez, all of this is standard. Okay. Um, Crumble John, run back. Ruka, I need you to come in. Loot. Ah, I mean, this is all good. St Those are better pants than what you're wearing right now. So wear them. They're just a direct upgrade. They are the same pants, but better. Uh, hand. You wander this way. Grab the criminal. Eh, whatever. They can chase me all they want. They won't catch me. Hand. You need better loot placement. Now you've got that, and Crumble John can give you that, and that as well. Uh, right. Hand is loaded up. Can you give that stuff to beep, maybe? Nope, too far. Okay, Crumble John. Go loot that guy. Ruka, how are you doing? Reasonably good. Uh, head back as well for now. Oh, that's a paladin. This is going to be a fight. Dang. Alright, um, go Crumble John. Those are better swords than what we've got already. And as always, better uh, high grade. Wow. Hell yeah. There's some very good stuff here. I'm gonna, you're gonna wear those. For, for sure, you're gonna take that. Because, I mean, even it's better for sale anyway. 
Um, then you're going to run back. Beep. Can Ruka give you stuff? No. Uh, wait, where's hand? Hand is right there. Hand, give stuff to Beep. Let's see here. All right. Whoop, not quite. All right, we are auto-saved, but Beep has a full backpack. Ruka, can you give stuff to Beep yet? Yes, you can. Excellent. That is very good stuff. Uh, give that to Foot, because Foot's our best medic, more or less, so far. Um, hand, give that to Beep. Let's see here, what else do we want to give to Beep? Not much. All right. Crumble John, you run back. Ruka, you're going back in. Evil thief, purge them. Blah, 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 blah. How fast do you run? 18. Yeah, I can outrun you. Oh, and the Iron Spider got up. We might actually be able to knock down some Holy Nation people. This is going to be excellent. Alright, so that's... Those guys are fast. And Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the other doctor. Alright. Let's loot the doctor. Skeletons. Skeletons are coming. Ooh, Cloud Ninja. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna grab these, because they are probably the most valuable of the loot, more or less. Yeah, they really, they really are. Um, even though I can't grab the rest of the loot as a result. That is a dude on a... Oh boy, turrets. Turrets are bad. Hand, get out of here. Hand is slow. Not as slow as Ruka, though. I think we might actually have to do some fighting as a result of this. Nope, 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 nope. Everybody head back. Everybody stay back. Um, and I guess now we're fighting it out. That's a high paladin. We're going to get beaten down. That's just guaranteed at this point. Uh, however... We will probably do some damage on our way out. Look at that. Hand putting in some work. Ruka is down, but not out. Beep and Crumble John are just holding it together. Oof. Crumble John just took a pretty big hit. Beep took a couple of pretty big hits. And, oh, Crumble John is down, but also not out. Hand is also down, but not out. Nice, nice. So Beep's our last guy. Beep's getting some swings in. I don't expect Beep to win this fight. I'm just hoping that Beep doesn't just die. And I don't think that he's going to, because Beep seems to be in pretty good shape right now. Oof. That probably hurt. Oh, that probably hurt. And Beep is down. Still not out, but getting close there. Uh, Beep and Rook are up. I'm just going to wait for that Paladin to run away before I have them get up and heal. Beep could use the toughness. I guess Rook could have used the toughness even more than Beep, but oh well. Yeah, Rook has got the toughness bonus too. Nice. All right, so we're uh, we're still in pretty good shape, especially after those cloud ninjas. I mean, we got plenty of loot, plenty of good loot too. Like this is some great loot. Um, I have Ruka give that stuff to Foot. Cause uh, oh, I was hoping those two would stack. I guess since they're stolen, they won't stack. Which is kind of sad, but oh well. Um, there's a way to clear the stolen tag from items, and it's something that I'm probably going to do later on. Uh, partly because, I mean, these bolts could all be stacked if they weren't all stolen. But oh well. 
think we've got some time before we need to do that. Wow, Beep is just not in good shape at all. He's crawling. Uh, Ruka can run. Hand can run. Crumble John can barely run. I'm thinking I might send Hand in for another raiding party. Give that stuff to Foot. Because I think there there's probably a couple more Cloud Ninjas that we can raid. Or loot. More or less safely. Oh! Wait, oh, he's playing dead. I was gonna say, that looks like a... That looks like an Eagle Cross, actually. That is an Eagle Cross. Oh, man, I would really want to steal that. Mm, that Cloud Ninja's awake, but playing dead. That Cloud Ninja's unconscious. Next to a Holy Sentinel. Which is not a, necessarily a great thing of loot. Yeah, they noticed that I'm wearing their armor. They're not too happy about that. They're going to chase me for it. Let's go loot this Cloud Ninja. And he just got shot by something. Oh, they already got mostly looted. Uh, Can we still loot that guy? Yes, we can. Shoddy, 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 shoddy. Combat Cleaver. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, they've got cr people on turrets. We need to get out. We really need to get out. Even though there's some... That's a Cloud Ninja that's still got gear. And, like, swords and stuff. Oof! Oh, hand's going down. Hand is going down hard. Hand's just lost her leg. Well, didn't lose her leg, but, you know, leg's injured. Okay, so Rook can probably run the fastest. How are you doing on crap you're carrying? Not that much. All right. You should be able to pull Hand out of there. Pick up. Oh, no, you won't be able to. Let's see here. Before you can pull Hand out, give all of this stuff to Beep. Beep can't carry all that stuff. Um... Beep's best weapon is going to be that katana, so let's have Beep use that katana preferentially. Now Rook can give this to Beep. And, I mean, she's still weighed down, but hopefully she can get in and get out. Oh, I forgot to pick up. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait, hand is... Did Hand leave behind that big blood splotch? Hand did just leave behind that big blood splotch, which is bad. Well, I mean, it's not, like, inherently bad. It's just not a great sign. Um, definitely a sign that Hand needs some medical attention. Alright, Ruka, put down Hand. Or actually, a hand can get healed up while being carried, so that's not a big problem. Hand's leg is also messed up, so we're not expecting any high speed from her. Rook is running at 14, Crumble John's at 15, Beep can barely move. Foot, you're going to have to carry Beep. Pick up. Alright. So... Definitely, everybody is hurt Prob pretty badly, but we've got a good amount of loot. Um, all sorts of good stuff to have. You know what? I'm going to go fix up that Holy Sentinel along the way. We could use the first aid experience. So, I was saying there's a way station near in that direction that I could set up in. That's the one that I'm kind of hoping to set up in. And hopefully we get there by the end of this episode. Of course, now that we're in the skim sands, we got to wor worry about sand skimmers. I, uh, I think I mentioned them last, epi last episode as bugs that look like they should be in Starship Troopers. And that's one of them right there. 
these guys. They are, well, they've got some skills. They're not pleasant to fight. And even though we've got some skills, specifically look at that, beeps and 20s for attack. Um, it's still not something that we can really do successfully, so I prefer to avoid them whenever possible. Thankfully, however, they are pretty bad at noticing sneaking characters, if I remember correctly. So we should be able to just kind of run through them. The problem isn't the lone skimmers. The problems are when you've got, like, the groups of 10 or 20 skimmers all at once. Because those guys will just take over and they will show up and they will wreck everything. Uh, at that point, you just kind of hope that there's some samurai guards nearby. Oh, speaking of samurai guards, we are currently entering United Cities territory. So the United Cities are... They've got their own version of slavers, which are called manhunters, and they've got a little bit less skills, but similar equipment. Uh, they will enslave you if you are unconscious. Um, they also have some interesting laws. Basically, it's illegal to be poor in the United Cities. Uh, thankfully, we're not poor. Well, uh, we might be money-wise, but we are not poor in the sense that we look poor. Because we've got some reasonably nice armor and weapons that we're carrying. Um, but for starting characters in this area, there's a couple of starts that start you off in this area. It's actually a problem because the guards could arrest you just for being poor. And uh, if they do that, bad things happen. Well, not necessarily bad things. You just get sold off to the slavers. Uh, so basically you're... Oh, wait. Okay, you see these little dust clouds here? You don't want to run through them. Uh, there's a couple of areas in the game that have similar choking dust clouds. Uh, this is one of them. Let's see here. So we're going to avoid these dust clouds as we run through. And hopefully... We won't have any serious problems. Let's see here. Excellent, excellent. They do chest damage, basically. Um, so they're not terrible, but they're, they're not good. They're a bit like the acid areas, except uh, acid areas do damage everywhere. Oh, the eye. Yeah, I think this, the eye is fine. Because the satellite's dead. Alright, um... Can we not outrun them right now? No, we cannot. Ruka is carrying... Hand. No. Ruka is carrying... Yeah, hand. Hand cannot run. Ruka can't barely run. Due to encumbrance, mostly. Give gear to... Nope, hand can't carry that. Uh, hand can carry this. Hand can also carry that. And now we're running the same speed as a sand skimmer. Because I'm really not interested in fighting that guy. Oh, look! Manhunters. You know what? I'm going to have that sand skimmer get in a fight with the manhunters. Wait, what's this? Blood raiders. Okay, blood raiders are... Well, they attack everybody. More or less. Um, they're not that bad. They don't really have any good gear. They've got the combat cleavers. And they have their own unique armor, which isn't particularly useful. Alright, I think I might en end up having to fight my way out of at least one of these two groups of people. Yeah. Alright. And... Give Ruka back. Oh, hello. Hi, Grade. That's even better. Uh, Ruka back for gear. These are all standard grade. And. No. Uh, put down. Come on, foot. Put down, beep. 
And let's just go fight it out. I don't expect to win this fight. But, you know, it's, it's possible. Because uh, I guess they're actually not a bad chance. Um... Yeah, we are definitely hurt, so we're not in good shape for fighting. These guys are in much better shape when it comes to fighting. But, you know, pretty experience. Can't really complain about that. You're not down for the count. Ruka is also not down for the count. You're not down for the count either. And, oh, Beep lost a leg. Dang. Well, we're going to have to get Beep a new leg. Um, wait. Oh, they're fighting the Manhunters. That's actually not bad. I was really worried about the possibility of, now that I think about it, being down for the count around Manhunters is not good at all. Come on, get up faster. Beep's not getting up. Crumble John, get up faster. Crumble John and Foot are going to get up fastest. Uh, the Manhunters are very willing to ex enslave their own, which I find to be very funny, but, you know, whatever. Come on, Blood Raiders, you can, you can do it. I don't know, actually, they normally should just heal up their own, I, they shouldn't enslave them. That's kind of odd, but oh well. That guy might end up being some free armor and or loot. You're about to get up. You're sort of close to getting up. Come on, foot. Basically, I just need two people to get up, or three people to get up and pick up the other two at this moment in time, because that's the best way to ensure that none of our people gets enslaved. If we get enslaved, bad things happen. Well, not exactly bad things happen, but, you know, it's it's a problem. Um, it's something that I don't want to deal with. And Crumble John is getting up. Oh, thank God. How are you doing on inventory space? Not great. Ruka's the best on inventory space. So, Ruka... Nothing particularly good. Nothing particularly... Oh. Hoi! Alright, they saw me. Time to go. Mm, you run 14. Ruka runs 13. That's not good. Um... Bum, bum, bum. Why are you running 13? Encumbrance. Encumbrance. You are carrying way too much. Uh, so, wait. You are carrying Beep. Ruka is carrying Beep. Give Beep some stuff. Beep is no longer able to carry stuff. Hmm. Hand can carry stuff. Ruka, can you pass those to hand? Now you're running at 14. Can you pass this to hand as well? Excellent. Now you're running at 15. You are running at 14. You are running at 14. All right, so no, not much point having them carry everything. Let's just run. We might actually be able to take a single man hunter. Possibly. Uh, you're still unconscious. Hand is more or less up. You are injured. Let's see here. I think we're going to have to fight it out. But they are far enough away from the rest of their squad that this shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, let's do it. Foot, put down hand. Ruka, put down beep. Let's 
Let's take them out. Uh, <laughs> you're beating you should be that simple. Come on. <clears throat> take him out. Oh, he's a Sheck, I just realized. Oh, well. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. Excellent. Well played. Uh, hand can barely walk. Beep is still unconscious. Ruka, pick up Beep. Foot, pick up Hand. Crumble John, check him for loot. Grab his medical supplies, because why not? And you've got nothing else worth taking. Well, I'm going to take your armor. And I'm not going to take his armor because I need it. I'm going to take it for the fact that it's going to weigh me down a bunch. And that's basically just free strength training experience. All right. And with that, we can keep going to... Where's this way station? Discovered way station. Excellent. Where is it? There it is. Sweet. And then once we once we get to that way station, that's probably going to be the end of the episode. Most likely. And then next episode after that, we are going to have to go find Beep a new leg. Which actually isn't going to be that hard, because we are very near the Black Desert area right here. And that is, as I mentioned last episode, the other high-end um, store. And they have high-end weapons, somewhat high-end armor, but not the same, not quite to the level of Armor King. They don't specialize in armor. And uh, they should have, yeah, they've got this tower for sale, which I kind of want to buy, but I can't afford yet. And they should have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Skeleton limbs of the high-end variety as well in Black Desert City. So let's trade with this guy and sell him a bunch of crap. Let's see here. I kind of want to keep a pair, set of ninja rags, but we both, well, I guess we got those. Let's sell that, sell that. Uh, 40, 52, sell that. Keep that. Uh, might want to keep that dark leather shirt. Yeah. Sell the other one, give the standard grade one to Ruka, ninja mask. Hmm. Probably don't need that. Definitely don't need drifter's boots yet. Although, they don't actually negatively affect my uh, run speed. So, I guess we could use those for some people. Like a hand, for example, could definitely use some high grade drifters boots why not um sell that sell that well no keep that if you buy back stuff that you just sold you don't actually lose money um and i'm thinking i would rather wear the drifters pants than the armored rag skirt because it's not quite as negative effect but i've got more coverage why not um, sell those, sell this helmet, sell the ninja mask, um, definitely gonna sell a lot of this other stuff, don't need that, don't need that, definitely don't need that, yeah, I'm gonna sell the ninja rags, um, hand, I'm gonna have, you sell the paladin's cross, Ninja rags, plated long boots. Those would be fine. Um, have you give that back to hand. And then sell. Keep that. I kind of... Nah. Screw it. I don't need those. Don't need that either. Alright. Yeah. That seems to be a... Uh, Probably a good place to end this episode. 
And actually, it gives us enough money to buy this tower. So I'm definitely going to buy this tower. And I now have almost no money left. Of course, uh, on the other hand, Legless Beef is going to have to do some engineering. Oh, Legless Beef is still unconscious. So Legless Beef can't really do any engineering. Um, who else has engineering? Modifier zero. Zero. Beef, of course, has the 20% to zero for Ruka and zero for Crumble John. So foot. I'm going to have foot become an engineer. Put down hand. Repair. Oh, I'm going to have to buy a lot of building materials, aren't I? see how many I can afford just off the top uh, oh I mean there's there's plenty here I need 32 more they're only selling I think 28 which is kind of sad but oh well have everybody that's not currently unconscious start working on this Anyway, I think I'm going to do some of this off camera, so I'm thinking I'm going to try to finish building this tower off camera and maybe putting some beds in it for recovery purposes. Um, and yeah, so like, share, subscribe, do all those fun YouTube things, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!